Howdy folks, I'm Dirk Tharp and welcome to the Carolinas Concrete Cowboy. Today's subject is going to be the term SSD, saturated surface dry, and what does it mean? And it's literally the opposite of a dry subject. So saddle up, let's ride. So SSD, what it stands for is saturated surface dry. Saturated surface dry. Now we'll look at that more practically in a second, but let's look at the definition first. SSD means the state of neither absorbing water from nor contributing water to a concrete mixture. In our case, we're always referring, of course, to concrete mixtures. Or it also can mean equal to potential absorption. So it's all about water either going into or coming out of something to change what it is we're trying to do with the repair material. And we want to get to a neutral state of that. That's why we bother talking about SSD. So on the back of a lot of uh, concrete repair materials, you may actually see a statement akin to, in all concrete repair applications, all surfaces that come in contact with a concrete mixture or cementitious repair material must be brought to a SSD condition before the application of the material. Now first of all, I may have tripped you a little bit on that word cementitious. I didn't make it up. It simply means anything containing cement. So even though we're, we're more into concrete, remember mortars, stuccos, grouts, all of these things are cementitious in nature, they contain cement. So this rule, SSD, applies to all of that. So to sum it up before we look at it in application, when we were learning concrete repair materials in the 80s, the early 80s is when latex really came out and the uh, uh, concrete repair world blossomed, we were always taught concrete surface preparation is 90% of the battle. Now, on the surface, you would think that means it's got to be clean, it's got to be uh, clear of any loose debris before starting. And absolutely, that's essential to making a concrete repair work. But the rest of that statement, that wasn't necessarily thought of and taught back then, still applies to that surface prep is 90% of the battle. And that is, we must bring the surface to SSD before we apply any concrete repair material. So now we're going to stop and show you in practicality what is bringing a surface to SSD. So see you in a second. Okay, SSD involves wetting a surface. Now first I'm going to show you, everybody's got a hand pump sprayer around the house, a handheld. That is really not the most practical way to get a whole job soaking when you don't have a garden hose nearby. I want to show you these. These are hand pump sprayers that are smaller than the kind with the hose and the wand, but they're, they're readily available in all big box stores. And if you don't have one of these, I advise you to pick it up to add to your toolbox. Look how easy I can wet with this. It really douses the material and that's for these smaller jobs where uh, uh, a garden hose is too much water. Okay, so this is my favorite. We're going to stick with this for the rest of the talk. So SSD in action is simply this. Block wall, concrete repair, concrete floor to receive a topping. Now let's look at each. It's only it's, it's about 92 degrees out here. See how fast the water is absorbing into the surface. The same on the concrete beam. You can see this is already dry. This is almost dry. And then on our floor coating, it's down to this small of a pool. One spray of water is not bringing a surface to SSD. That's simply blessing the surface with water. So what? why that definition is so important Let's dial back to neither contributing water to nor absorbing water from 
So what we mean is we need to soak the surface, soak the concrete like this is going to be the repair. Now water pooling is not SSD. That would be where we're giving water off. You don't want to put your repair material straight on top of pool water. Obviously this is going to soak in in seconds so it won't hurt a thing. And in our coating, the same rule. So if you were doing a sidewalk or a driveway and you're going to, you're going to put a, a coating over the whole thing, such as a, a flow coat, you're going to soak that, that way you can use the garden hose. You're going to soak it, and then you need to soak it again because what we're trying to do is fill up to the surface so that it's moist, but then it's drying. So it will be dry, but like here, I'm, I'm starting to get it to where I've got enough water built in the surface to where this is going to be moist when I apply the concrete material. A block wall is a little more tricky because it's so much more porous. You're going to soak it, and then if we're doing a hard coat stucco or we're doing a product such as surface bonding cement, we're going to put our coating on. But as soon as we put that first coating, we need to soak it again before we put the next coating on. So keeping materials to where they don't absorb water nor give water back is all important in a concrete repair. I've seen materials that I've tested and it worked great because I kept it in SSD. And another, and then a, a customer we let try it, he said, well, this cracked. It cracked, I can't get it to quit cracking. It's not a mystery, he's already told me what happened is, he's not soaking his material before he puts it on. He might be the best in the world at, at doing the repair, but if you don't know to wet it first, your repair is guaranteed to fail. It's either gonna surface crack or worse, it will become unbonded and just fall off. So that's what SSD means. Wetting a surface before you repair it, letting it dry down to where it's not got water standing in it, but it's still moist before you apply that. Um, one exception, of course, is bonding agent. That's a whole nother class. But just so you know, once you put bonding agent in this, for example, if I painted this surface with bonding agent, I don't need to keep wetting that. That's not what I'm saying. Um, I want my bonding agent to be tacky dry. So it's doing a similar job to this. It just increases the bond. Um, another subject for another day. So SSD, saturated surface dry. Live by the rule. Don't forget to keep it wet. So this, I'm Dirk Tharp. This has been the Carolina's Concrete Cowboy. And until next time, yippee ki -yay concrete. Legal disclaimer. The views expressed by the Carolina's Concrete Cowboy, although profound, and his actions, albeit masterful, are his and his alone. If you've enjoyed these videos, please like and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, Carolina's Concrete Cowboy. And by all means, we look for your feedback. If you've got a, uh, a session you'd like us to do or some questions you'd like answered, give me the feedback below or email me at carolinasconcretecowboy at gmail.com. Happy trails.